Hey man, say man. If y'all know what's going down, man, this is True for Life Radio. We're at the number one music press conference going down right now. Shout out loud for everything they're doing for the city, man. And we just coming together connecting the dots. And we got this another artist in the building. Can you please give yourself an introduction one time? Yes. Hey everybody, what to it do? It's your girl Natalie Nicole. I'm an R and B singer, songwriter, and best selling author. Uh oh. <laughs> A best selling author, don't get that twisted, you know what I'm saying? So, just talk about you, you know what I'm saying, yourself and your background, the way you're from, and things like that. Right. So, I'm originally from Lubbock, Texas. I was raised in San Antonio, Texas. And now I live in Dallas, Texas. So, I'm happy to be here in Houston. It's my second time. And uh, when I grew up, you know, I just started writing music and as an outlet therapeutically. And then, of course, put out projects and then also wanted to write about my story because I've dealt with molestation and racism and homelessness so put it all on all that in a book and then of course make R&B music for the soul you know wow. <laughs> hey man let me tell you man I love what people say man when you all look like what you've been through you know what I'm saying because ain't no way I would assume anything that you just said that fast by the, by the way you look you know what I'm saying so just talk about that you know what I'm saying I bet that's something that you do in your life on a regular basis right yeah people think like I'm this pretty girl that just skips down the street I guess you know but I've had a pretty interesting life and um, I guess throughout the obstacles I chose to not let it weigh me down and not carry it so I guess that's why you can't see it but everybody has a choice and I would have much rather be positive and create positive things and have some fun rather than have that crap weigh me down no, that's right, man. God is good, man. And salute to you for what you've been through and how you overcome it. You know what I'm saying? So just talk about, you know what I'm saying? You, you say you're an R&B artist, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what kind of music would you say your music sound like? Okay, so I'm like a uh, Mariah Kelani uh, vibe. <laughs> it's R&B. It's, you know, love-making music, breakup mi- music, makeup music, whatever you want to call it. But I'm, a, I'm definitely a singer. I don't just sing. There's a difference. Yeah. That's right, you know what I'm saying? So, talk about how long you've been out here doing your thing. Ah, it's been a minute, man. I've been in the game for quite a while. I guess it's the indie game, but it's still the game nonetheless. I've rubbed doubles with a lot of industry people, too, and you get to learn a lot of things about how it works, and I'm just grateful to know as much as I do know so I can uh, stay grounded in what I'm doing and make money and own myself, you know, as a woman, as a young lady, you know. It's, it's not easy, but it's worth it. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I've been asking all the women that have been coming through, you know what I'm saying? I want you to just, um, I know being a female artist, you know what I'm saying? We have a certain look. I'm sure you deal with a lot of obstacles, men, and different things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? For, you know what I'm saying? The next female artist that's trying to jump into this career, what kind of advice can you tell them to, you know what I'm saying, just press forward? Right. I would tell you to hold your ground, wait for what you deserve. And don't feel bad whenever people walk away from you because you're standing your ground. Uh, never compromise your morals and what you believe in. Uh, what is for you will be for you no matter what. Nobody can take that away from you. And sometimes you have to pave your own road, but you can do it and uh, stick to your guns. Hey, man, I love your, your drive and your energy. You seem like a soft-spoken person, but could probably be very strong. You probably knock out some of these dudes in here. <laughs> Where you going to say that? I don't know. I just met it, but that. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Just talk about the projects. You got some projects out there for people to listen to? So I just came out with a song called Kitchen. Um, it's on all platforms. And I have another song coming out this month called Come Over. So we're also working on an album. After a, a million streamed album, the debut it came out, it was called Moments. So that was this year. So we just keep popping out the records and keep working hard, you know? No, that's right. Hey, man, salute to you, man. Stay on your grind. Keep doing what you're doing, man. So if anybody want to tap in with you, can you let people know where they can follow you and find you? Yes. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Natalie underscore moments or NatalieNicole.com. But the best and easiest way to find me is on Instagram. There's a link in my bio, and it has everything you need. No, that's right. Hey, man, salute to you. Salute to you. Because she's saying like a, a quiet, soft-spoken person, but you just don't know, man. You just never know. You, it's, it's a lot going on, man. Trip for life, right there, man. Salute to you. Thank you for coming through the Highlands, man. Salute to Dan and the whole live festival, which I'm putting on right now, man. It's the first annual music press conference, and it's going down, man. Trip for life, right there, we here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah.